Greetings from Willie T's. In this episode, we're going into step two of starting your own apparel brand, the setup. Let's get started. First, you want to establish if you want a home-based business, a commercial space, or even a mail service like UPS or USPS. The difference is going to be cost. Of course, it doesn't cost you anything to start your business from uh, home. However, with the USPS and UPS, they're going to charge at least about 30 bucks a month. And with your commercial space, it, of course, depends on location. There's also a difference between UPS and USPS because with, of course, the post office, they're going to give you a P.O. box. Um, and some vendors don't like to deal with businesses that use a P.O. box. Um, however, UPS actually uses a street address in most cases. Now that you've established that address, now it's time to get your business registered with the state. And for Florida, you would go to this site. Sunbeds.org, where you can file your registration for your business and get your articles of incorporation. When you register your business, it's going to ask you specific questions about the owner, managing members, members, and the registered agent. And how many shares of the company are allocated to them. When I first established my business with the state, it was a lot of stuff that I didn't know. One in particular, basically for your LLC, there are different tax statuses. So you can be taxed on the single member LLC level or the S corporation LLC level. The difference is how much you have to pay. And S corporation level is the best way to go. But you definitely want to consult your accountant to set it up the right way. Next, you want to get your federal tax ID number or your EIN. And you can get that right over here. And it's actually free to get your EIN from the IRS. And then you want to get your DUNS number from here. Your DUNS number is free as well. Don't let them try to sell you anything. After you've established your address, gotten your LLC and your federal tax ID, the next thing you want to do is register your business with the state for state and local taxes. And for Florida, you would go to this site. The last step in the setup business bank accounts. Now on this step, you want to think about more than just, you know, income. Outside of an account just for your business income, you're going to need an account for business taxes. You're going to need an account for business operating expenses, a business investment account, and a regular business savings account. You want to do this to separate your income from everything else. Now, I didn't know about this setup when I first got started. I had to read some books, watch some YouTube, and outside of the information that I'm giving you, you definitely have to seek more information, and that's better for you and your business. Now, some of the books I read, you can actually get them on Amazon uh, right now. Um, I'll actually leave a link down below. Actually, let me show you these books. The first one is called The Richest Man in Babylon, and this one is called The Bible to Financial Freedom. Read this one. This one, Unfair Advantage by Robert Kiyosaki. Let me tell you what it says on the front. What schools will never teach you about money. He also has another one called Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Um, that was like one of the first financial books I read some years ago, but it's definitely worth the read as well. And this last one is by Michael McCallowitz, uh, Profit First. And this one basically gives you the blueprint on setting up your accounts to where your profit is first. That's all we have for part two of the setup. Please check us out in part three. 
inventory or print on demand. Please drop us a like if you like this episode. And if you like this type of daily content, please give us a follow. Thanks for watching. This is Willie Tease. We'll catch you on the next one.